Hey everybody, this is Mark with IELP Tech on Toy, and today we're going over the top hidden features of OS X Yosemite. So the first thing we have for you is something Apple talked about quite a bit, and this is called handoff. I'm not going to go into great detail because it's kind of a complicated thing, but I'm just going to show you what it can do, and if you want me to make a whole video on it, I will definitely do that. Let me know down in the comment section below. But first, we just want to go into preferences, and then go into handoff. It's under the general. And make sure it says allow handoff is checked. Um, it's quite a process, so I'm not going over it right now, but if we do look in my dock right now to the left of it, and if I just load something up on my iPhone, as you can see, it brings up this little Chrome icon. I'm, only, I'm in Safari on my iPhone, but I recognize that that is my primary browser, so it's going to tell me. It says Chrome on my iPhone, and if I do elect to click it, it will take me to the web page that I am browsing currently on my iPhone. And if I close that page out, it does disappear. Next is Notification Center widgets. It's a pretty cool thing. You saw this on iOS 8. However, there is not that many third-party widgets at this moment, but there will be coming very soon. So we just go over here, and this is how you usually had it before. We have today, we also have notifications. Very similar to what you see on iOS. But we have all these things right here, like our date, um, social, we can share things, different weather, um, calculator, reminders. If I click this edit button, I have all these other ones today, world clock, stocks, calendar, and tomorrow summary. And when you do get third party ones, they will show up in here as well. And I can just drag these around and do all of that cool stuff. Now, another thing that I fa found that was pretty interesting was under extensions. And not only can you edit and change the extensions in Safari, but we go to share menu and we can choose what we want to have shared. And I can drag them around if I would like to. And that will show up in our share menu in Safari. So we can share stuff in different ways and you can customize that to your liking. And you can also go to the today view and edit what is under here going through there if you don't want to go through the notification center. Next is also under preferences. This is under general. And this is called dark mode. And it allows this up here to be dark, this right here to be dark, and then overall more dark looking. I guess if you're working at night, um, it does look a little bit distracting from what you are currently doing. So I do prefer that light mode, but you do have the option if you would like. Now, this is something that was for me disabled from the beginning. However, I had this enabled with Mavericks. This is under sound and then play feedback when volume is changed. Now, this was off for me. It may be different for you, but just take a listen to this volume. It sounds amazing. Did you hear that? It sounds so much different from what it used to sound like. It's really cool and I just cannot get over how amazing that sounds. And the final thing we have for you is spotlight. So you go up here to the corner and you click the spy glass and you usually drop down here to search for your local files on your Mac. But with this, all you need to do is just type anything. So I can do Jotspot and it will bring up Jotspot and I can just go ahead and click it really quickly and it will not bring up any information. But if I stay there, it will bring a drop down. Let me know like version number, size, created, modified, last opened that stuff. So we do have that more information as well, which is pretty cool. But we can also do stuff like um, nine minus two. As you can see, it says seven. And if I wait, it brings up my calculator and says seven. Or I can do something really cool, which is also on the iPhone, but most people probably don't know about on the Mac. I can do web searches. So let's just do the empire. And then as you can see, it says a Wikipedia article tells me how tall it is, how many floors there are. It's really cool. Anyway, that's all for this video on hidden features and OS 10 Yosemite. If you have any more hidden features, be sure to let them let me know down in the comment section below. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know if I should do any more Yosemite videos. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. This is Mark, and have a great day.